How to start a patient on basal insulin. About half of all people with type 2 diabetes will eventually need to take insulin to keep their blood sugars in a healthy range. Basal insulin is a good next step when three conditions are met. The fasting blood sugar levels have not been at goal or their hemoglobin A1c is more than 9%. They are on the maximum dose of an oral diabetes medicine and they have diabetes symptoms such as thirst, frequent urination, blurred vision or fatigue. Basal insulin is long-acting and provides a background of insulin. It's given once daily at bedtime and is used to control fasting blood sugar. It's a simple treatment that can be introduced very safely. Continuing oral medicines with insulin can improve blood sugar control. Metformin can also reduce the weight gain associated with insulin. But be careful using sulfonylureas. They can increase the risk of low blood sugar and cause more weight gain. Teach the person how to use insulin, including how to use a glucose monitor, how to give herself the injection, and how to manage low blood sugar. Have her start by giving herself 10 units of NPH just before she goes to bed at night. This regimen minimizes the risk of low blood sugars and is simple to start. NPH is commonly used as it's widely available, inexpensive, and is a medium-acting insulin. Every morning, she measures her blood sugar before she has anything to eat or drink. Her blood sugar goal is between 80 and 130 each morning. Based on that morning's blood sugar reading, she adjusts her dose herself that night following this simple method. We start with the syringe at 10 units. If her blood sugar is less than 80, she decreases her dose by one unit. If it's between 80 and 130, she keeps her dose the same. If it's more than 130, she increases her dose by one unit. If there is a concern for low blood sugar, for example, in someone who lives alone, is elderly, has a history of heart problems or kidney disease, adjust the target to between 100 and 140. Be in contact regularly during this first phase. People often lack the confidence to keep increasing their insulin dose. Be aware, an episode of low blood sugar in the night is immediately worrisome. Have the person manage the episode, for example, by taking a spoon of sugar in a glass of water. Then, have her contact you in the morning. Find out if there are any reasons for her blood sugar to go low. Ask if she is giving herself insulin at bedtime. Did she miss her evening meal? Did she have more activity than usual that day? If there was no reason, then her dose of insulin is likely too high. Have her lower her next insulin dose by 20%. Here's how to calculate her next dose. 20% is 0.2. Multiply her dose of 10 units by 0.2 to get 2 units. She reduces her dose of 10 units by 2 units. 8 units is her new dose to give herself that night. 
she adjusts the dose up or down as before according to her fasting blood sugar goals. After six months on basal insulin, the person's fasting blood sugar levels should be at goal with no further diabetes symptoms. Or a hemoglobin A1c should be less than 7%, or less than 8% in an older, more fragile person. If she is still not at goal, consider doing twice daily dosing or switching to an ultra-long-acting insulin such as Clargine. Remember, basal insulin can be introduced simply and safely. Give it once daily at bedtime adjusting the dose up or down as necessary. Stay in close contact with your patient.